getting to grips with her first bicycle. Every Sunday morning, Rehmat Hamid joins her friends at her local cycling club. For the 11-year-old, this is a totally new and sometimes daunting experience. Initially, I dragged the bike along with my feet. Then I slowly learned how to control it, and I love the fact I can ride now. I wish I could cycle every day with my friends, as it makes me feel really good. It's quite rare to see women on bicycles in Pakistan, as many think it is vulgar, as they have to straddle a seat. But these attitudes are also part of a wider patriarchal culture. Our society doesn't feel right about girls cycling out on the streets. It doesn't usually happen here, but it's common abroad. It doesn't feel right, but it's okay. They're only riding around locally. What can we say? Those parents who allow their daughters to ride on bicycles should think twice about it. Women socializing in public is still viewed as a threat to public morality. It is to counter these norms that a group of women set up the Liari Girls Cafe that also organizes bike rides for girls. At the start, we were harassed and some boys even tried to kick us off our bikes. It was tough, but we won't stop. It's our mission to empower these girls and introduce them to sports, which is also very important. The girls live here in Liari, not only a poor and conservative neighborhood of Karachi, but one that has been marred by violence for decades. Things are better now. Although the streets are still dangerous in some parts, especially for women, so the sight of them exercising in public has caused quite a stir. But attitudes are slowly changing. Rahmat's parents were reluctant to allow her to join the cycling club at first, but soon changed their mind. My family and my in-laws both said that it's not a good thing and I should just stop her. It's a problem in our society that if a girl goes out in public for anything, say for work or even cycling, people talk bad about her. But my husband and I think differently. So what if she's a girl? She should go out and also progress. When the cycling club began a year ago, this started with only eight girls. Now there are over 30 members. And all are determined to keep peddling their way towards a fairer and more equal future in Pakistan. More on this topic, we're joined by Farzana Bari. She's a Pakistani feminist and human rights activist, and she joins us from Islamabad. Uh, Farzana, thanks for talking with us this morning. Uh, first of all, International Women's Day is drawing attention to the challenges that women face around the world. What are the main challenges confronting women in Pakistan? I think the first and foremost challenge in Pakistan is that women are not recognized as independent human beings. You know, women are seen in relation to others, like as a somebody's wife or mother and sister, or um, you know. Uh, so, but women uh, in their own right as a as a as an independent human being, you know, and therefore, um, I think this issue of uh, not only recognition but also women's representation, for, for example, in the scene making bodies, um, whether it is at the at the in the public sphere or private sphere, I think that's the struggle which women in Pakistan are going through, mm. that they want to be recognized as an independent human being, you know, uh, in their own rights. Are projects like the Bike Club for Girls that we saw in our report there, a little project in Karachi, is that a sign that something is changing in Pakistan? Yes, something is changing in Pakistan, particularly younger women are trying to claim their space, although the space we had back in 60s and 70s. For example, when I was growing up, there was no issue if I was bicycling. But I think uh, slowly there, is a, there was a radicalization uh, in Pakistan, particularly uh, during 80s. Um, and I think that's where this whole now uh, trend of radicalization is on the rise. And women's space is uh, shrinking uh, day by day. Um, um, but uh, I think particularly the young feminists and women from, um, you know, working women, they are claiming the space and they are pushing the boundaries. 
Marches are taking place today uh, all over the world to honor women and demand that their rights be respected. Are people marching in Pakistan too? Yes. I think uh, I feel that this year, even that, um, you know, preparation for uh, eight International Women's Days uh, March is uh, much more at a bigger, I think it's going to take place in a bigger scale. Uh, women are also um, coming together, like Women Azadi March, for example, um, initiated by Women Democratic Front, but it is going to be, it has been organized uh, in coalition uh, in, uh, with the networks of like NGOs and other, um, you know, working women's network. And it has been like organized almost in all big cities in Pakistan. So yes, I think this year I see um, the, uh, the celebration or commemoration of Women's International Day is going to be at a much bigger scale, at a much bigger level all around the country. Arzana Bari, a Pakistani feminist and human rights activist, thank you very much.